because we, we were talking about the Alabama stuff way back, but none of them are good. I, I don't – John Emerald's doing a bottle and bond right now from Alabama that I think is going to be good, but it's it's three and a half years off. Uh, Detling, if you like malt, is good. Like, it's they make fine whiskey. Like, don't let me talk you out of trying a Detling because if you like a, some maltiness in your whiskey, you're going to like – if you like Chattanooga, you're going to like Detling. Like, it's, it's fine whiskey. It's just not what I'm looking for in a whiskey. Everybody else I've tried is a small distillery using small barrels or oak chips or something like that, right? So, I at some point, and I'm hoping John Emerald's Bottle and Bond is going to be it. But, again, we're three and a half years away from that. Oh, let's see. What's the best Alabama bourbon? That's like, what? Like it has to be, at this point, it has to be Detling. So, like, Clyde Mays stuff is really good. Don't get me wrong. Clyde Mays, Alabama style, Clyde Mays bourbon, probably the best, but that stuff's not made in Alabama yet. It will be, but right now it's not. So, I, I, I guess technically, well, I mean, I, we'll see because John Emerald's putting stuff in barrels right now that I think is going to be good, and that'll probably be out before Clyde Mays stuff will because their distillery hasn't technically opened yet. Um, outside of that, Detling is doing good stuff. I just don't like the high malt. Uh, so that's that's me, not them, right? I'm not trying to I'm not trying to hate on Detling. I, I don't want to I don't want to do any ill will. I want y'all to try it. If you like malt, they make good whiskey. I just don't like malt. Um, outside of that, I've tried two or three Alabama distilleries, and they're all super small, and they're either using oak chips or small barrels or something like that. And, and I'm probably just being a diva by not liking that stuff, so.